What's up, fellow Hearthstoners? My name is Chris Dosaurus, and today we're going to be checking out Radon's Egbert Token Druid deck. So we're going to go ahead and... Hmm. Do we keep this? I think we'll keep the Innervate. That's it. Double... Oh my god. <laughs> uh, dude, he greets me, dude. My greetings. My greetings. <laughs> Alright, so... What is that? Turn 3 we can drop that? Wow, we got double force. Oh my gosh. GG, boys. Um, so this version... Because the version before that I, just, that I had, like, the other day... Um... Was the, uh... Yeah, so... Go ahead and drop the boom. Um, was the one with the harvest golems, but now that it, um, it looks like the deck creator uh, Radon uh, changed it to um, the lumbers, the volcanic, yeah, volcanic lumbers. So we'll see how that works. Um, I'm, I'm gonna definitely be pretty interested to see how that works because. Trying to think of when we can get value, but I guess if we, because we probably have a board most of the time, and if we ever have to trade, probably get like pretty good value. Because I mean, even if you kill, like, if two minions die, because it could be like the opponent's minion too, then you get a seven eight taunt, like for seven, that's pretty good. So hopefully, he has no way of dealing with this. Looks like he doesn't, or he's just AFK. I don't know. This is really weird. Maybe he's just sad. <laughs> I guess he's just sad, boys. But he's handlock. I mean, if he just brings out, like... Oh, uh, okay. Hmm, Shredder. It's interesting. Oh my god. <laughs> that top deck, though. <laughs> LOL. Yeah, literally, literally, if we get Savage Roar, we win. Like... <laughs> Yeah, literally, if we had Savage, that Savage Roar, we would win. And we might even still win if he doesn't have... Because he just used a coin on this. So... Okay, Dark Bomb. Oh, does he have a Coil, too? Okay, that might save him. This is a pretty good drop, too, so... That might just save him. Alright, so... Get the egg. Um... Hmm. I think we just go face. Even if he has Moltens, still just go face. That's that way this sets up for lethal, so he has to have like taunts and Moltens or something like that to make sure that we don't kill him. So he has to know that we have something big in our hand, and he knows that we don't have Savage Roar, because we only played this and then uh, Hero Powered. So he could probably assume that we have maybe like a uh, swipe, I guess he could be thinking, or one force of nature, but he doesn't know that we have two, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I mean, I guess he could, but... Mortal Coil? Yeah. So that's kind of good for him. I wouldn't say kind of lucky, but I don't know if we should go that far, because it looks like he doesn't have a uh, Molten Giant, so... And he didn't have a Belcher either. And he won't be able to play a Belcher. So I think we just win here though. Unless if he has a Toss Dingo? Ah, oh, he's an Argus, okay. Oh, that's a little unfortunate. Um, this sucks. I guess we'll just do this. Um... He's still going to be able to tap. So that's why I was kind of thinking maybe shouldn't have done that, but... I guess the lower he gets, the better. So then even if he, like, heal bots, maybe? Let's see. Be up to 11. Actually, he'd still live. Or, no. 6... No, we'd have exact lethal. That's if he doesn't trade into one of these. Yeah, in silence, okay. 
So he's barely living. He's holding on. It's just all we need is that savage roar, man. All we need is savage roar. That three health is like pretty bad. Oh, Farseer? Nice. Okay. That was pretty good for him, too. Um, but I think we have Lethal. Yeah, we do. Alright. Bows, bows. Alright. Sweet. We got him. Yes. Oh my gosh. A druid. No. Alright. I think I'll just keep the sand. Should be fine. Hopefully. Especially if we get some buffs. The buffs, man. So he kept two cards. I'm guessing one of these are probably wild growth or at least innervate, that's for sure. And then drop our egg. So he probably is gonna know what's up already, because we dropped the egg. You don't know. You don't know who we are. So okay, cool. Ooh, cool master, nice. Alright, so we'll drop this. So I think that those are the most sticky minions. And then, okay, so he does have the wild growth. So he kept the coin, though. And then, I think this is the next best player. Dude, <laughs> if only we had, like, Savage Roar already. Um, we'll, only, we'll probably only drop the Cult Master when we can actually get value out of it. Which, actually, well, can we drop it? Could drop it, I guess. Whoa. This guy's like super ramp. Um okay. Really? That was a strange play. Must have a swipe? Or I'm confused. I don't even know. Alright, well, I think we're gonna buff this guy. Go ahead and drop another egg. So so if he doesn't have, he could actually bring out Azur Drake and then uh, swipe is maybe what he was thinking about doing. Like hit, because he would, yeah, so he would just swipe face and then it would clear everything. But we also have this, so it's still going to be good. Okay, so he's going to swipe that. It's not that bad, I guess. Okay, power. Hmm. Uh, he might have another swipe, but I'm just going to play this. Because it's our best play. So hopefully he doesn't have another swipe. He could have a Wrath, though, too. Man, if only we had Savage Roar. We do, it, it is nice that we have the Keeper, because then he might be like, oh... I'm pretty safe because I got this Ancient of War. But then he's not safe. <laughs> so even if he does swipe this, we still have the 4 4 and then the 2 1 1s. Okay. That's pretty good for us. Nice. So we get card draw. Yeah, buddy. It's helping us get to that, that end game, though. Alright, I think we get, yeah, so we're definitely going to play this, because I think we get um, draws off of these dying too, so it's pretty good value. Them draws, though. Nice. Nice. Okay. So we have the Savage Roar. Oh! Oh! Okay, never mind. Alright, so we should be able to end the game next turn. Because we have the Keeper perfectly lined up with the Savage Roar, so that's 7 mana. Yeah, so we should have Lethal. Most of you maybe play Scenarius? No, I think we'd still have Lethal. Okay. Savage Roar. Wow. Is he going to attack into that? Wow, okay. Okay, so I think we still have Lethal. Yeah, we have lethal still. Because it's eight by itself. Alright. So I'll go ahead and silence this. 
go ahead and savage one. Sweet. One over. Nice. Yes. Yes. So here is the deck list. So yeah, like I said in the beginning, um, the creator switched out um, the harvest golems for volcanic lumber. Um, I didn't really get to show you guys um, any like lumber action, but I can see why he would put it in here because it's more late game, but it can even like get dropped, you know, for five mana or something, which a seven, eight taunt for five is pretty insane. Um, but then you have like all these buffs and stuff. I really liked um, using the Mark of the Wild on the Dragon Egg. I think that is maybe the best. I don't really think, I mean, I guess you kind of want an Arubian Egg to get popped, but it's kind of there to like protect yourself against AoE, like with the Death Rattles, you know? Um, just so then you get another card, or yeah, you get a, like another, some other minions on board. But I kind of like marking the Dragon Egg. I don't know if that's entirely right, but yeah, Savage Roar, there's there's definitely a lot of times where you'll have where the Savage Roar is just going to do work. Like, if you, if it's just like if you top deck it, you're going to win the game. <laughs> so it's pretty crazy. It's a really important card. And then as you guys saw, the Cult Master got some pretty insane amount of draw, so that's like really good. Um, and then the Boom was insane on turn three. It just kind of be handled. And then Scenarius, obviously, because the buffs make it really insane if you already have a board. So it can almost be like a Savage Roar in a way. And then you also have the um, Tree Tenants option with it. So then you have like for Savage, you know, after Scenarius or Savage Roar on the Scenarius with the two. I mean, if they live, you know, so. But yeah, it's a pretty good deck all around. Um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, though, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. All that good stuff. If you want to see more content by me, Chris Soap Source, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And go through my other videos. Check me out. I got a whole bunch of Hearthstone videos. So you guys can definitely have a good time with all of that. And uh, like always, thanks for watching. And I hope to catch you in another one of my videos. Peace out.